I was able to get my hands on a couple Team of the Year players. And the two I am most excited to use is the Derek Carr and the Tyreek Hill. I did do all the solo challenges too for the Team of the Year. And they're pretty easy. I mean, they didn't take that long either. And I was able to get the uh, Kyle Juszczyk. I think, I think if I'm pronouncing his last name right, which I'm probably folding miserably at. I apologize. I'm not a Ravens fan. So, yeah. I was able to get him in from j just from doing these solo challenges. And I guess you just get a uh, Team of the Year offensive player if you do those solo challenges. So, I guess you have a chance to get, like, even, like, Odell Beckham Jr. And I forget what other. The Derek Carr, obviously. Tyreek Hill. But I mean, I don't know, man. Like Jesus, you don't even like you can't even you know sell those players or anything. You just get them and you have to, and they're locked into your collection pretty much. Which I, which I didn't even know until I got that Kyle Use check, and then I was just like, damn. Because if it would have been amazing if I was able to get like Odell Beckham Jr. or something, then you know I wouldn't even have been tempted to sell him because I wouldn't even have been able to. So yeah, I guess I got a, I, a new uh, fullback on the squad, which isn't too bad. I mean, this Use check has better. Uh, like just catching and stuff like that. He's a better, he's a better all-around fullback than Ripkowski, which I used to have, and he was pretty much just a good run blocker. Ripkowski was didn't have like any any other good stats. So this use check may be, may be a lot better, even though I don't use the fullback that much other than run blocking. But yeah, I was able to uh, pick up Derek Carr and Tyree Kill too. This Tyree Kill is nasty, man. 95 speed. I mean, I haven't seen. A uh, wide receiver yet in this game with above 95 speed there probably is I mean I haven't been on Madden that long so if there is don't don't rip me to shreds don't don't cause World War 3 in the comments section I'm just saying I haven't been on Madden that long so I haven't even seen that many uh, I, I definitely haven't seen all the players in Madden yet but yeah man 95 speed is definitely good I did have the 90 overall Tyree kill before this one he had 94 speed and he was he was doing amazing on the squad, even though I didn't have him that long. But look at that grab. Look at that grab. Tyreek Hill is able to come down with a sick grab right there on the one. And then I also picked up this D'Angelo Williams, which some people may be like, why the fuck you got this guy? Because he's only going for like 70,000 coins, which I guess is a lot for some people. But for some people, that's probably chump change pretty much. But yeah, man, I had the, I had like the 95 Ricky Williams. And then I had LaShawn McCoy. I wasn't able to get that much going with them. And I remember back when I was playing Madden 16. I had like all these running backs almost picked off right there. That bastard got lucky. But yeah, I was uh, using a, a bunch of like underrated running backs back in like Madden 16 when I was even playing Ultimate Team. And I was doing way, like a lot better with running backs like that rather than running backs that go for like a million coins and shit. So half the time, man, like if you don't get a good run game going in every single game, I just look at it as... Damn it. I got a fucking, you know, just just a money, you know, wasted all your coins on a running back. So you look at your running back in the backfield and you're like, damn it, that was a waste of coins. I'd rather spend my coins on like a quarterback and receiver and like even, you know, cornerbacks and safeties and just linebackers and stuff rather than a running back. But call me a crazy person for saying that. But yeah, man, you will see if some people are questioning whether or not they think this D'Angelo Williams is good just wait and see this whole video because he put on a performance in this one and early on in this one Derek Carr and Tyree Kill are doing that as well Der uh, Derek Carr throws a uh, TD pass to Tyree Kill I believe that was right there and yeah getting on the board quickly in this game I was up 7-0 pretty early and then I'm up 14-0 now and this guy needs to respond quick I think this guy had a this guy had a uh, pretty solid team too. Like I forget who he had, but he had like the uh, he had like the '96 Des Bryant or something like that. I'm not really sure, but because he had all, all that like chemistry stats and stuff together. But yeah, he had a pretty solid team. I think the last couple of uh, players I played didn't have the best team, so this guy definitely definitely had a good squad. So this would be an even matchup for sure. So yeah, this guy needs to respond back quick. And I got the ball first, so I need to at least have a two-touchdown lead going into half, if you ask me. So I was trying to prevent this guy from getting anything going. Third and two, he's able to come up with the first down, so he's going to the hurry-up offense. Obviously, under two minutes left in the first half. And he's making he's pretty much, yeah, he had a good drive going right here. He's making his way up the field on first and ten. Going to the play action, finding somebody wide open in the flat, and he's able to pick up another first down. I think he had he had one of the Dak Prescott uh, QBs. I'm not really sure which one it was, but yeah, he was 
I don't know, he was running a lot of the same plays at times, and I was almost able to get the pick right there. Should have been picked, if you ask me. And then he's dropping back, playing some man coverage right there. I think that was on Crow. That's sad. That, that may have been, it was Crow or Revis. Either way, that's bad man coverage right there. So he gets it in the house, and it is now 14-7 to after this extra point. So I got a minute and 16 left with three timeouts left to get at least three. I mean, I was looking for seven, obviously, but yeah, I was going to the run game, too, because I was looking to take away the clock in this half. So, second and three, going to the uh, play action right there. Nobody's open, so I got to throw it into the bleachers. So, third and three now. I'm going to the run game. He, was, he only had one linebacker right there in the box, so why the hell not? He was pretty much just daring me to run the ball at times, so why the hell not? Pro that was probably one of the reasons why D'Angelo Williams had a really good game in this one. This guy was just, he wasn't really stacking the box or anything, so I was able to get some good runs up the middle. The O-line did a good job. Even though I don't have the best O-line, I still have like Pouncey and just other, you know, 85, 86 overall linemen. That is the next tier of players I need to uh, upgrade very shortly. And after I did those uh, solo challenges too, I was able to get like... Uh, I, I think I got like 50,000 coins, but I was able to sell Ripkowski too since I don't use him anymore. So I, was, I think I got like 70,000 coins at this point. So I may try and upgrade the O-line with those coins. So I am running out of time. Third and 11, Derek Carr is taken off. He has like 86 speed. That's not too bad. I'm able to get out of bounds, but I don't pick up the first down. So I got to kick the three, man. I'm not going to be a lunatic. I, I was questioning myself. Maybe I should have tried to go to the end zone right there and at least tried to pick up the first down since there was a good amount of time left. But this guy wasn't able to get any more points after that anyway, so it didn't really matter. And that was a big completion over the middle. Like I said, this guy got the ball first, so I was going to uh, have to try and get at least a two-score lead going into the half, which I do 17-7. to seven. So yeah, this guy wasn't really getting the run game going. I think he had like Frank Gore in the backfield. Not really sure which one it was, but he definitely did not have the run game going in this one. But he's looking to make his way down the field right now. Second and seven, he is dropping back, looking for somebody. Nobody's really open, trying to squeeze it in coverage, and he's not coming down. I think that is good defense right there. So third and seven, he is finding a man in the flat and getting another first down so he is making his way up the field again this guy was actually able to put some uh, good drives together just wasn't able to cash in that much as you would think that is my bad that is my bad one million percent i blew coverage dude that was terrible that is embarrassing that is very embarrassing but yeah i blew coverage right there so that was a good read and a even better throw from his QB so he gets it in the end zone 17 to 14 now so I need to respond back after that huge mistake on defense I need to do something big on offense losing three yards in the process with D'Angelo Williams right there so second and 13 I'm scrambling nobody's open for some reason I'm trying to squeeze it into my receiver and he doesn't come down with it so third and 13 dropping back picking up like 11 yards in the process but it's fourth and two I am going for it I am not punting that ball away call me Call me insane, but he's only got well, he's only a one linebacker right there. Why not run it up the gut with look at him? Look at him go. He's an absolute machine. This D'Angelo Williams may be a beast, dude. Like no joke. This guy had an absolute ama an absolutely amazing game. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. Another look at this game right here. Stumbling through everybody. Not taking any prisoners. This D'Angelo Williams is. So first and ten. Uh trying to go to the run game again, but I'm not able to pick up barely anything, just one yard. So I need, to, I need to cash in and get seven. I'm not taking the three. If it was going to be a fourth down again, I would be going for it. Even if it was at like, you know, I don't know. Even if I, it was like fourth and 30, I would have been going for it. I wasn't kicking the three. I would have been going for it for sure. But third and nine, I need to convert this. I got a man open. It is Cook over the middle. And I'm able to get it down to the 12, so I am rolling. I'm looking to get it in the house with like 23 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10, looking for Hill on the slant but he does not come down with it. that was pretty good coverage right there anyway so second and ten going back to the run game D'Angelo Williams was just running all over the field in this one you couldn't even stop that man if you tried third and two like I said it's I didn't get it fourth down four than one there's no chance he would look he was he was waiting he, this guy was waiting for the run up the middle I didn't even care I was gonna go to the pitch originally but no I had confidence in the O-line, I had confidence in D'Angelo Williams, and eventually he gets it in the house after picking up the first down, so that's, this is, 
this was a very good game, man. Since I've been back on Madden, this has probably been the first game I've been able to put on a good performance from the running back right now. D'Angelo Williams had a huge game. So 24 to 14 now with like three, three minutes and 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So this guy is obviously looking to throw down the field and quick. This is a very good defense. Everybody is locked up pretty much. Nobody is open and short gets the huge sack. So second and 20. This guy needs to throw down the field right here. So I was playing some cover four. There's no chance I was going to be giving up anything deep to this guy. So he's looking to drop back and throw deep. Obviously, I got a man right on him. He dives, misses him. Looking to take off. Apparently not. Revis Island gets the interception. That is possibly it. And it is. After that pick from Revis, this guy decides to leave. But yeah, man, that was a pretty decent game from Derek Carr and Tyreek Hill. Since those players are pretty much brand spanking new. I'm probably going to hold on to them for at least, at least a little bit. 